yeah, I'm gonna ask her to um, take away. And also as a reminder, um, I'm going to just share, briefly share my screen just to show her, I mean, show you guys her um, original artwork, private commission. So here we go. Okay. Uh, 방금... 설명을 너무 잘 해주셨는데 어 일단은 우리가 지금 이런 상황에 처했잖아요. 그렇기 때문에 이렇게 온라인으로 얘기를 할 수밖에 없고요. So Lim Her, as Lim Her has explained it perfectly, COVID 때문에 아 it's due to COVID 19 that Miss Jisoo is going to talk to you online today. 어 사실은 제가 미국에 가서 무슨 행사에 참여할 때마다 제한된 사람을 만났는데 그래도 이렇게 우리가 표를 사지 않고 이렇게 온라인에서 다 같이 볼수 있는 거는 또 좋은 기회일 수도 있을 것 같아요. So every time when she goes to various comic cons, of course, um, there is a limited number of people that she can encounter during the festival, during the event. Uh, but um, she's happy to meet everyone without any limitation today. <laughs> so, uh, as she would like to introduce herself, her name is Jisoo and her surname is Kim. It's one of the uh, most common surnames in South Korea. So uh, most of you guys know already, uh, Ms. G2 is one of the students of Hyunjin and Kim Jong-gi. As you can see on the screen, there are only girls. So Miss Jisoo loves to draw girls. So all these drawings that you are currently watching on screen is inside the book, and now she's going to do her book tour. Yes, and as a quick reminder, tomorrow, um, the same time as today, she is going to um, be doing a live drawing. So if you guys place an order for her um, private commission, you might be able to see her live draw. Uh, of your purchase piece um, in the during the live stream, and also we have our newest merch drop. Um, the canvas toad is very pretty. Um, you can get it from uh, superinus.com under merch. So please check out, and all the um, link will be available in the uh, YouTube description. So I'm going to pin her screen. Here we go. Okay. Okay. 자 여기 보다시피 어, 제가 인스타랑 그 유튜브 같은 채널에 쓰고 있는 이름이 이 미스 지수인데요. So her nickname that she uses for Instagram and Facebook, as you can see, is Miss Jisoo. 뭐 남들도 다 마찬가지겠지만 처음에 이름 쓸때 어, 겹치지 않는 거 이렇게 막 이것저것 하다 보니까. 어, 현진 쌤 제안도 있고 해서 이거가 됐는데 So her nickname, so her ID became Miss Jisoo because she didn't want to um, use a name that is similar to others and it was also Hyunjin's idea to put it as Miss Jisoo 근데 사람들이 댓글로 미스 지수 하다 보니까 어? 그런 분이 내 아이디가 그거였네? 하다 보니까 책도 이렇게 나오게 됐네요 so everyone has been calling her Miss Jisoo, and in the end, uh, her first book, the title of her first book, became Miss Jisoo. 
And as you can see on the cover, uh, the cover drawing is the thing that is a drawing that she always draw, a cute girl wearing a cute hat, holding a cute gun. <laughs> <laughs> 일단은 하드 커버로 되어 있고 어, uh, the book is on hard cover. 어, 되게 조금 컴팩트하고 귀엽죠 사이즈가. Mm -hmm. The size is quite small. It's very compact. Very cute. 제가 이 약간 정사각형에 가까운 이 이미지를 원했어요. Uh, she wanted something very square. Mm -hmm. 어, 조금 제 그림이 때까지만 해도 전혀 시리어스하지 않기 때문에 좀 가볍게 소비될 수 있도록. Um, she wanted her drawings to be consumed a little bit lightly because um, it has. Uh, not that serious? Yes, her drawings has not been that serious until now. So she, it, has, it has been consisted of little doodles. So she wanted something light. Okay. Casual. So the drawing on the cover was originally done on pencil. So this is a sketch. And so she used Photoshop to apply the colors afterwards. And as you can see, she noted what kind of medium she used. Most of her drawings are manual. As you can see, uh, she is saying that she used brush pens and markers. 혹시 제 그림을 최근 거를 보신 분이 있으면은 거의 대부분 인크워시를 하고 있거든요. Um, as uh, if you guys have been seeing her recent work, it has been worked with inkwash technique mostly. 근데 이때는 사실 어 약간 저를 위한 그림을 그리던 시기라서 그냥 취미로 그린 느낌. Um, but at this moment, when she drew all these drawings, it was mostly like a hobby for her. So she wanted, she did the drawings for herself. So she didn't, um, she wasn't really serious. She kind of grabbed everything that she saw in front of her, like pencils, markers, pens, and then she drew. This is wrong on whiteboard with board markers. At this time, she worked as a teacher as an art teacher for students. So she was, uh, during, during her lectures, she would just doodle on the whiteboard when she had free time. <laughs> so this drawing has a little background story to it. So she drew this girl screaming, disgusted, uh, on whiteboard. And then um, jean Lee came and he added the body to this girl. And he drew something really hideous, like tumor-like. The girl had a tumor-like body, and she, Miss Jesus would like to um, share you guys the final drawing that Zhang Yi participated on her Instagram or on Facebook later on. Another, uh, another TMI. They have a big, big whiteboard um, in, in their studio, and every single time there is all these, like, Ridiculous drawings drawn by Zhongyi. Mm. 
어, 지금 뭐 시대도 이렇게 됐고 거의 온라인으로 모든 걸 하다 보니까 제가 유튜브 채널에 한번 그 저희 작업실 투어를 어, 한번 해볼게요. 사전에서도 볼수 있을 것 같아요. So, uh, Miss Chisu would like to do a little tour of the Super Andy Studio in Paju, Seoul, uh, sooner or later. Uh, since we're um, doing everything online due to the COVID COVID nineteen. Oh, 제가 책 넘길 테니까 혹시 그 허림 씨 혹시 뭐 채팅 같은 거 지금 하고 있나요? 질문 네 질문 있는 거 제가 하도록 할게요. 네. So Miss Chisu is going to flip through the book. And if you guys have any questions, it's going to be Limher who is going to read it aloud. 아, 이거는 한동안 제가 프로필 이미지로 하고 있던 볼펜으로 복사했던 거. 친구들이랑 낙서 그냥 카페 가서 얘기하면서 그냥 그랬던 거. Uh, and this drawing is um, the drawing that she used a long time for her profile photo. It was. Um, the drawing was drawn by a ballpoint pen and she was just um, having fun with her friends doodling. Miss Chi Su thinks that we all do a similar thing. We just like go to a coffee shop, we talk and we doodle. 아니면 뭐 좋은 이미지 같은 거 보게 되면은 어이 이미지에 어떤 부분을 내가 캐치하고 싶어 하면서 이렇게 공부하듯이 그릴 때 있잖아요. 어 그런 것들도 많이 있고요. There are lots of drawings from when she saw a very nice photo uh, or a reference image, and she would just study that photo or the image, thinking to herself, what is the thing that made me I'm attracted to this image. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start reading out some question for Ms. Chisu. Uh, we have about 15 minutes. So um, um, do you ever draw action, action pose? Uh, so she draws, she draws um, action poses, but since these, this book consisted uh, mostly doodles, she doesn't have that pose in the book, but um, you guys will be able to find the drawings of, uh, for example, a warrior on her Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, another question What do you think is better to practice at details or simplify lines? So, what is better to concentrate on details or simple lines? Uh, she recently received a student that she is teaching personally. So, she is explaining from the very, very basic things from skull to muscles and all that. So she recalled about what she taught to that student. Uh, she would say that she would teach all the details. Uh, she would make his student, her student to study all the details and then she would tell her students not to care about the details. For example, uh, for example, this head. 그러면은 대부분은 이렇게 눈, 코, 입이나 이런 걸 예쁘게 그리는데 집중을 하려고 할 거예요. And most of the time, people will call, will try hard to make it beautiful, make the head beautiful. 근데 가장 중요한 거는 눈, 코, 입이 어디에 위치하느냐가 더 중요하거든요. But the important thing is uh, 
is to understand where we should place the eyes, the nose, and the lips inside the head. 그거를 어떤 각도에서 보든지 간에 제 위치에 얹는 게 제일 중요한 것 같아요. So, uh, uh, whatever angle that we draw, it is really important to place the eyes, the nose, the lips correctly. 네, 그 다음에 이제 디테일은 언젠가 따라온 게돼 있어요. And then you would add the details to make it more appealing. But if you know the basics, the details will come afterwards. 네, 디테일을 먼저 이렇게 좀 스킬을 쌓고 난 다음에 다른 거를 하려고 하면은 많은 것이 무너져요. 모래성 쌓은 것처럼. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but if you concentrate too much on details, on 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 decorations, and then you, <coughs> if you try to draw something correctly, um, things will like collapse, like as a, a sandcastle crumbles. <coughs> 잠시만요. 이좀아네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네네
So if she was to make the second and the third book, uh, she thinks that the um, books afterwards won't be won't look like this one. It will be it will be different. 뭐 여자 캐릭터를 좀잘 그리고 싶고 약간 그림에 입문한다 싶을 때 어, 이거를 보면은 여자 그림에 도움이 좀될것 같아요. And she thinks that the book will help you guys, uh, help you guys who are working on on drawing like appealing characters and appealing women characters. 그러면은 네. 스케치북을 볼까요? So now she's going to do a little tour on her sketchbook. 자, 이거는 제가 되게 좋아하는 테라다 가치아 작가님이 쓰시는 거를 그 테라다 작가님 책에서 보고 어릴 때부터 어 이거 한번 써보고 싶다고 했는데 너무 좋은 거야. 그래서 거의 한 십몇 년, 십오 년 가까이 제가 계속 쓰고 있는 연습장이에요. So this sketchbook, uh, which is called Cookie. Uh, is the sketchbook that she saw on Terada Katia's book. She saw that um, Terada was using the sketchbook, so she copied them, and it has been 10 years, 15 years since she has been using the same thing. Oh, that was really amazing. A few years ago, Terada and I met in the maker of this sketchbook. Terada and I were drawing the picture. So, wow. And she would like, she would also like to add that she met Harada Katia, and when she met him the last time, he kindly drew on the cover of her sketchbook. So now she has that. Oh,这个是真的，말그대로 <laughs> 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 So, <laughs> a very messy sketchbook. Uh, she uses a sketchbook to uh, um, mostly to uh, do some idea sketches, and sometimes she would just like um, uh, wash her brushes. After she washes her brushes, she would just like. Um, she would just wipe her brush on the sketchbook, so it's very messy. And this could be uh, one of the action poses that you've been, you guys have been asking before. So these drawings has been the idea sketches that she has done to do commission works. 음 제가 뭐 보통 스케치 없이 바로 그림을 들어가긴 하는데 그리기 전에 뭘 그릴지는 머릿속에 있어야 되잖아요. Uh, she normally draws without any um, sketches. She goes directly into thinking, but, but um, it is obvious that we have to know what we are going to draw beforehand. 음 그거를 위해서 그 캐릭터의 동세를 여러 각도에서 그려본 거예요. So this is why she would practice uh, different figure motions beforehand to see what fits perfectly. So if she were to draw a girl holding a knife, what would be, she would think about what would be the most effective way to make the make the character most appealing on a A4 formative paper. So she starts with drawing a naked body because that is the most effective way to figure out the figure motion, and then she would put on the clothes. 그리고 가끔씩은 사진을 보면서 참고를 하는데 어 여기 보면은 사진이라고 적혀 있는데 옥주름 공부를 할때 제가 사진을 봤으면 옆에 사진이라고 적어두는 편이. So the uh, Korean characters written beside the drawing is uh, photo. So she would sometimes use reference photos to help her drawings. And um, this one, she noted photo because she was studying the folder of 
Uh, I'm going to read out some questions, if that's okay. All right, so um, as a beginner, do I need to draw out every muscle whenever I draw a figure? Uh, she thinks that you don't have to study all the muscles from the beginning, but it is important to understand and study muscles. Because you cannot draw um, legs if you don't understand how the muscles work. Great. The next question is, um, what is your favorite character to draw? Uh, the favorite character character she likes to draw is something like Holly Queen, uh, a character that is vicious, cute, dangerous. And Catwoman. She likes drawing Catwoman characters. She's very happy when she receives a commission where she is to just you to draw the characters that she likes. She's very at ease. And also she likes to draw Japanese manga characters because she grew up reading mangas. So now we can see Dongo who is prepping himself. Yes, I think we have question for one more. Um, so they said, um, do you have any plan to teach besides um, on-demand Kazan art online class? 하나 쪽에서 이제 수업도 하실 생각이 있습니다. 네, 한번 한 적도 있고요. 어, 아마 그 얼굴 그리는 방법 간단하게 두 개부터 시작해서 어, 그리고 나서 처음 이제 한번 있고요. 그래서 카조네트 바깥에서 수업을 아 바깥에서 응, 왜? 어, 응. 카조네트 왜또 하시는 거 있는지? 아, 또 하시는 거 있는지 그죠 좀. 아, 지금 국내에서 한국에서 지금 온라인 클래스 하나 준비하는 게 있고요. Um, she's preparing for a online class in South Korea. Uh, so she is going to do uh, give lectures through a site which is called 101 class. And she also did lectures on China in China. Online and um, another lecture in China is fixed for next year. <laughs> and also, there is another video that is going to be uploaded via Kazum Art. So, if there are some people who are, who are interested, great. Yes, so um, before we move on to Dong Ho, I'm just going to share my screen. So uh, Ms. Chisu just dropped a new merch with Super Annie. So if you guys can see, we have a tote that is her cover, super cute. <laughs> And we also have original art by Chisu. They're selling out pretty fast. So yes, we have all this artwork for sale. And also um, reminder for tomorrow, 
So if you guys directly purchase from our site, tomorrow at, at the same time, um, 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, she is going to do a 30-minute um, live drawing. So if you guys purchase it and then place an order, uh, request your special request, and there's a chance that you might get to see your commission getting done in life. So that's pretty much it for Ms. Chisu. And uh, Ms. Chisu will participate in Art Gem with Peter Han, Eliza, Kim Jung-gi, Tong-ho, Kyung-jun, Chae-gwang, Nicholas Nemery at 7.30 Pacific Center Time using Magma Studio. So thank you so much, Chisu. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, Tong, Tong, Tong Ho, can you please unmute yourself?